This is the newest addition to the shack. Uh, Yezu FT991A. A lot of things I like about this radio, uh, the technology being much more advanced than radios from 10 to 20 years ago. Uh, of course, the waterfall display, but also there's some features like dynamic noise reduction I'll show here. Remember from my other YouTube video that I was demonstrating my loop antenna in terms of how I'm able to uh, adjust the frequency with a worm gear on the capacitor by either up or down. And I can demonstrate that here. Um, it turns out that on the uh, <clears throat> display, you can see where the noise is at a peak. And if I adjust the antenna, the loop antenna to a higher frequency, you can see how it just shifted to higher frequency. There it goes. And if we were to try to transmit here, we'd have a problem with our SWR. I'm going to move it down in frequency now. You can watch it shift down. And just as with the other radio I was showing, all I have to do is try to get this centered with respect to the noise. And we should be pretty much good to go. You can see the signals in the waterfall here. Now, the other thing I want to demonstrate is what I've shown before. <clears throat> this is my Time Wave ANC4 noise canceller that um, cancels noise before it gets to the radio. But in addition, we have uh, dynamic uh, noise reduction in this Yesu. So there's no noise reduction on currently. This is what we have. It's a parks on the air station. Okay, I'm going to first do the time wave, turning it on, and let's just turn it off and on, and you can watch the noise across the top of the waterfall go down when it's on, and up when it's off, and now I'm going to adjust the noise phase to where should make a difference. So this is obviously a lot worse. Wrong phase. And now I'm going to move it to where it's optimum for being as low as possible. I have a little bit too much noise gain, so I'm going to turn that down. And there we go. I think that's pretty close. Let's see what happens when I turn the ANC4 off. There we go. You see the noise increase. Let's listen while I turn it off and on. Of course, the other thing I can do is turn the RF gain down a little bit. Now, when you do that, you lose the ability for your estimator to give you a reading. However, very effective for audibly reducing the noise and improving signal to noise. Turn that RF gain down a little bit. You know, you don't often have to write it all the way at the top end. But even more remarkably effective than that is the dynamic noise reduction. Now I've usually avoided that on most radios because they distort the audio. But let's see what happens here. Dynamic noise reduction, DNR is off, now it's on. Now importantly, there are different algorithms. This is not an intensity of reduction as many rigs have. This is an algorithm. You can take it down to almost no noise such as way up at setting 15. But I prefer a little bit, right around about 9 or 10. We'll set it at 10. Don't know what the algorithm is there, but that algorithm really cuts the noise out a lot. Let's listen with it out and in. Out and in. Takes a few seconds for it to get the algorithm working. Okay, now let's see what we have. Now 
Yeah, how much does the time wave do now? Let's take a listen. A little bit. It helps. You can see it in the waterfall. Time wave off. Time wave on. So between the two, the time wave plus the dynamic noise reduction, this is absolutely fabulous. There was a transmission of a little bit lower frequency that's very strong. It ended. You are about at 33, just barely above the noise here. And I have two plus numbers, 8846 and 4239. Okay. Noise reduction is on. This is pointing directly at the speaker now, of course. Uh, say that one more time. And I'm going to turn it off on the next transmission. Off. And you can hear how when it kicks in. There we go. I got you in the log and uh and it checked out on the spot there. So seven three, thanks for hanging in there with us.